Thunder guys. Good afternoon, early evening to some out there. It is the Earth Master here on the live stream. It is November 14th, 2021, 2.06 p.m. California time here. And the latest quake on the globe, a 2.5 earthquake striking the Alaska region inland. Looks like up around the Fairbanks area or north of the Fairbanks area. Quite a bit of movement on the earthquake 3D globe. Uh, over the last 24 hours, including some large earthquakes around the Iran area. Let's go ahead and check out what's going on in that part of the world. Uh, I am coming back from an off-grid trip. Kind of went off-grid for a couple days here, or a few days with Missy Mimi's. Just kind of wondering where I went to. Well, we disappeared up into the hills, up into the mountains. No service, anything, nothing like that up there. Kind of crazy. But anyway, we're back. Um, live stream is up and running. Globe has been fixed. I don't know when the globe froze up, but uh, thanks again for everyone checking in on us. We did not uh, get arrested. We did not go to Las Vegas, <laughs> but um, I appreciate all the comments there. But uh, we definitely went off grid for a couple days and it's kind of nice getting away from uh, all the lights and uh, whatnot of the uh, civilized world. 6.0 earthquake and a 6.3, two large earthquakes way earlier today. Looks like these struck within a minute of each other. One was a much shallower depth, and also the, uh, the second one a little bit more towards a, uh, a little bit further down, I should say, uh, for that 10 kilometer one. That's 6.3, shaking things up out there around the Iran region. And it uh, looks like, uh, let's see exactly where we're at when it comes to the plate dynamics here. The Gulf of Oman, let's see here, 6.3. No doubt a very strong shaker and, and as I mentioned pretty shallow looking at the seismic overview of the um, historical data here shows some pretty significant earthquakes. So uh, it's in the highly um, tectonic plate area where we see uh, quite a few sixes it looks like up around the uh, I'm not even going <laughs> to attempt to pronounce some of these uh, these uh, locations out here but definitely a highly se seismic area. Uh, that uh, were the 6.3 and the 6.0 struck. They both struck within the same area, it looks like, of each other. We are seeing some uh, earthquakes outside of the epicenter zone. Some aftershocks, presumably. presumably. Got to get back into talking here. We've just been pretty quiet out there in the wilderness. Um, so kind of uh, got to get back to uh, civilization here. <laughs> but let me tell you, it was well worth the, uh, worth the, uh, the silence and, and the time spent up there left on Wednesday uh, so been gone for a few days now but we are live uh, the, the uh, uh, we're, we're, we're here me and Miss Mimi's are here we're back it's pretty crazy uh, let's see what else we got here around the globe aside from this movement up here we did see some further activity around the South Sandwich Trench region also the Mid-Atlantic Ridge seeing some upper fours kicking off the South Sandwich Trench area has seen some deep movement up here, including a 5.166 kilometer deep earthquake into the trench zone. Uh, so kind of watching that region as well. South America has gone relatively quiet. Puerto Rico is still seeing some movement around the Puerto Rico Trench. This movement right here also a little on the uh, pretty close side to the Puerto Rico Trench region. 28 kilometer depth there for the uh, one of those earthquakes and some deeper movement uh, to the west of Puerto Rico with a 3.2 at 85 kilometers downstream movement along the west coast luckily we didn't have any major earthquakes that i know of otherwise uh, we'd be st stranded up there for months at a time uh, we were way out there up in the western coast range of uh, california northern california here on dirt roads for many many miles so we were secluded uh, not a whole lot of people out there at all uh, let's see some movement well off the coast of Oregon, but into the Cascadia subduction zone. We had that 1.9 earthquake. This one's striking after the activity in the Iran area. Like I say, it's right smack dab on the Cascadia fold and megathrust belt. Also well off the coast of Northern California into the Gorda Scarpman area, 2.9, relatively shallow. This one here though, kind of, kind of keep an eye on that. 5.1 kilometers, it's really shallow earthquake striking close to the uh, well, right smack dab on the subduction zone. Movement into the Sierra Nevadas, up and down the eastern crest of the Sierra Nevadas from Bridgecrest northward up to Lake Tahoe. Still seeing some activity scattered out and about throughout Nevada as well. That movement uh, has been ongoing for quite some time. We are seeing some activity in the Southern California region within the last hour, including a 1.2 near Palm Springs, California, off of the San Andreas Fault. 
A lot of movement along the San Jacinto Fault area and also the Imperial Fault. Uh, actually, the Brawley Seismic Zone seen some activity with a 1.5 south of the Salton Sea region, but no swarming uh, that I noticed there in the Southern California region. Areas eastward looks pretty sporadic, not a whole lot of movement throughout the uh, Southern Plains area. Looking at the Yellowstone overview, sees that uh, six-pointer that struck, it looks like. Uh, at least one of the stations kind of showing it. Uh, I think that's the 6.3 that struck. Although these look kind of tuned down, uh, not picking up a whole lot of uh, distant earthquake activity. There is some microquake activity uh, that's taking place in the northwestern part of the Yellowstone area. Maple Creek, Holmes Hill, all showing some microquake activity over the last 24 hours. You can see these spikes indicating that uh, earthquake activity. But over the last few hours, looks like things have calmed down. I don't see any major uptick in uh, earthquake activity there at Yellowstone National Park uh, for the moment. Uh, looking back at the map here on the USGS 24-hour um, map, some movement, deeper earthquake activity once again near Tonga. Looks like uh, some activity around the Vanu Vanuatu area and also down along the Kermadec Trench. Seeing this activity 35 kilometers into the Kermadec Trench, 4.7 striking that region of the world. Uh, Japan remains relatively quiet. There is some activity around the Taiwan area, 5.0, 71 kilometers. But uh, for the most part, movement uh, along the Pacific looking kind of quiet uh, following that six-pointer and the 6.3 that struck in Iran earlier. Southeast region getting in on some uh, further movement outside of your normal typical swarm region. Seeing some activity stretching out around the southeast corner and out into the Pacific. Also up around the Kilauea uh, volcano region, some shallow earthquakes in that area of Hawaii. Uh, let's look at the trimmer map. I'm sure they haven't updated it today, but we can go back to yesterday's and check that out. Today has not been updated. Uh, yesterday we've seen some movement up around the Seattle area and into southern Oregon. You can see that activity along the Cascadia. And of course, uh, let's go back another day since uh, I really haven't looked at it uh, this is the first time i'm looking at zero epicenters on that day on the 10th there was 41 epicenters in the northern california so it looks like things have been relatively calm we'll see what conditions look like a little bit later tonight but uh, anyway folks just wanted to jump on here on the earthquake live 3d stream let everyone know we are live uh, we made it safely out of the woods out of the uh, secluded jungle that we were in uh, not really a jungle but uh it was pretty nice let me tell you it's really nice to get away from uh you know, civilization for a little bit and uh, just uh, pack up the, the camper, the, actually a little trailer, travel trailer. Had plenty of stuff. And uh, Missy Mimi's, let me tell you, she is a excellent cook. She knows how to utilize all sorts of food and, and whatnot when we're out there away from uh, away from our normal typical stuff, you know, like drinking water and, and uh, everything. We had to make several trips down to a nice little creek where there was fresh running water. Uh, that was pretty nice as well. So we had some uh, some water for cooking and, and shower and bathroom activities. And, uh, you know, we made the best of it. It was pretty nice. Let me tell you, it was super nice. I will post some pictures a little bit later, folks, on the uh, on the Earthmaster page. Uh, but for now, just want to jump on let everyone know we're still here. Stream is up and running. Globe is unstuck. Live stream, I'm surprised, <laughs> continued to run. But uh, all right, guys, have a good night. Uh, we'll, we'll be back on a little bit later. Take care, everyone. Peace out.